Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Ignore the makeup, I just filmed another video. Today's video is going to be rating the nightclubs in Durham because Durham's nightlife is a little bit questionable. People say, but actually I quite like it. Before we get started, what I'll say is Durham's nightlife is very small city-esque. I come from a town and the nightclubs are quite small anyway. I prefer to go to Chester, which isn't my place, that's like across the border, and that's where I normally go for nightlife and it's like a little bit of a big club, it's not like a massive club. So I'm not, that's the biggest club around, I'm not used to like massive city clubs and stuff like that. So um, I'll just give that disclaimer, if you're like from London or Manchester, it's probably going to be quite a shock but I'm not really used to that. So I'll go through like the order that you pass it on the street, more or less. So let's just get started. First of all, we've got Fabio's. Now, Fabio's is actually La Spagatata, just spags, which is an Italian restaurant by day, a club by night. Now, one thing you'll notice when you go to Durham is lots of the buildings are very small because it's a very old city. So you find this like club by, uh, club by night cafe by day kind of vibe um, several times so Fabio's is one of them and um, so by day it's Spags by night it's Fabs I like Fabio's though you don't spend a whole night in Fabs because I'd say it's more like sort of like the bridge between pre-drinking and the actual night out I don't know I don't know why you just don't really spend a whole night in Fabio's and um, but it's great for cocktails they have a massive selection of cocktails and it's all super cheap and I'm pretty sure it's free to go into I've never paid to go in but I don't know if that's just because I go on certain nights but it's great to like kickstart the night get some cheap cocktails and honestly it's fantastic I love a strawberry daiquiri so it's very nice I'll rate it a 7 out of 10 because you don't spend a whole night there but they've got a fantastic drink selection and they've got seats and they've got two floors it's never been overly crowded there so but also knocking points off because you don't spend a whole night there and also you have to walk up these stairs that are really high and they're like really scary to look down and the next club on the list is Jimmy's, Jimmy Allen's, if we're going to go by the full name. This is great because it's free. However, it's disgusting. It's like a cave. It's underground. It's literally a cave. And, um, like, the walls are rocks. Um, and it's really... Ugh, it's really packed. It's really claustrophobic. You, like, get squeezed. You know when you've got a bar of soap in the shower and you squeeze it and it pops out your hand? I feel like when you're in jimmies the first time i went i feel like i was getting popped out because i was getting squished i swear my feet weren't touching the ground that's a big task so um it's definitely really squished and crowded which i don't like and i also fell down the stairs there i don't remember it but i did completely plummet down the stairs and my back and my thighs were like black for several weeks so I wouldn't recommend maybe I don't like it I don't think it offers anything that anywhere else doesn't offer the toilets are absolutely minging as well they're like flooded I just don't think they offer more than anywhere else so I don't really go although it is free so I'd rate that a 5 out of 10 next up we have Clute this is actually voted the worst nightclub in Europe every time you go to Durham someone will say this to you it was voted second worst but the worst burnt down and people are probably like how can it be the worst well people have actually died in Clute so like it is pretty bad I actually quite like it though it's like an attic it's very small I feel like people might not like it because it's so small but where I'm from there's literally a club called attic like it's average size for where I'm from so it's not really that small for me it's very nice it's got three floors you've got the ground floor which you don't really dance it's more of just a bar you've got the second floor which is where you're dancing the smoking room the the smoking area the bar all that and then the top floor the toilets um i quite like it the toilets are never overcrowded i've never queued for the toilet in clute which um when you've got ibs it's very nice when you're walking to clute this is one thing i will say if you're walking down the bailey from the colleges don't then go past the bins just walk along that bridge that Paddy's is on. Once you get to Durham, you'll know what I'm talking about. Just walk along the bridge that Paddy's is on because you'll get a free voucher for a free shot. Um, whereas if you walk down the Bailey, you won't pass the people. I don't think you'll pass the people if you go that way. So just walk on the bridge a bit. There'll normally be someone in a hat and they'll give you a free voucher. Clute, mm, the music is nice. Um, I like it. There's a lot of ABBA. 
you can't go wrong. It's all music you can sing along to. One thing is the bar area gets very overcrowded. Um, someone actually pushed me once, or not even like a shove. This well-built lad pushed me. If it wasn't so crowded, I would have literally fallen on the floor. He turned around and pushed me, which was really annoying. Like, I don't mind getting shoved about and things in clubs, but like when someone deliberately pushes you for no reason, that's a bit... Mm. One thing I think they struggle with is overcrowding. Though every time I've been, I've been in a queue. So I feel like they do have it a bit more under control. But that's why people have died and things, which is awful. Um, but people often complain that they're not learning from their mistakes. I'd say Jimmy's is more not learning from that. But um, I've never had any problems whilst I've been. Except the bouncers can be a bit rough. Um, one of them pulled my friend by her hair. Which is great. And dragged her across the street. Um... And also they didn't know what St. David's Day was, which is a bit... The drinks are average. Quite strong, actually. What's the... There's one drink, I can't remember it, that tastes vile in Clute. I think their vodka tastes a bit iffy. The smoking area is nice as well. I'd rate it a 8 out of 10. I've never had any problems there, really. I think that's all the ones in that area. Now we're going to move on to Spoons, which is Lloyd's... I, I can't remember if it's Lloyd's in Durham. I know the spoons where I am is called Lloyd's, but I can't remember if the one in Durham is also called Lloyd's. I can't remember, but that's what I mean. So the spoons in Durham actually turns into a nightclub in the night time. It's, again, one of them ones, um, and I quite like it. The toilets are very nice, very, very nice, very well kept. There is often a queue, which I don't get because there's so many more toilets than any other nightclub I've seen. You do have to pay to get in though, which you have to pay in others. I think Clute's maybe like three pound or a pound. I don't know. The most expensive where I'm from is quids in, so like anything you have to pay for, I'm a bit like, oh. Uh, spoons, I can't remember. I think it's like four pound to get in. It's nice. I don't miss spoons though. Like I miss Clute, but I don't miss spoons. The queue is normally quite long and i don't know it's nice it is nice i think the problems i have with it are the drinks you don't really get that drunk off also the pictures i know everyone loves a picture i just don't like them they make me too full like i don't need that much juice thank you very much and um, they make me feel a bit sick the dance floor is all right the music's great i've got nothing against the music i think the main problem i have with spoons is the lights the strobes can get quite bum 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 and i don't like strobes at all and there's obviously strobes in every club but in spoons i feel like they really uh, uh, don't like them but it's i've got nothing against it as a club yes yes i do have a problem with it actually thank you megan for forgetting um spoons don't actually let foreigners in you have to have a british passport or a british driving license to get in once they start IDing. So yes, there is a massive problem with it and I can't believe I just completely forgot about it. Yeah, I think that's it for them. I can't think of anything else to comment on. I'd give them a seven out of 10 again, just because it's nice. You can spend a whole night there. It's also by Subway, which I'm not really a kebab girl, but like I'm a Subway. I like a Subway salad after a night out. So sometimes I got chips, but like you feel guilty if you get chips. Um, so yeah, I do like it for that, so I'll give it a 7 out of 10. When I was filming this, I didn't remember the rule, um, like they're basically racist, so I didn't remember that, that's why I gave it a 7 out of 10, because generally the experience whilst you're in there is alright, um, but yeah, I don't know, I feel like maybe we should boycott it instead, I'm not 100% sure. Then next door we've got players. Mm -mm. I absolutely hate it, I've only been once, the music was awful i'm i don't really like like a boom 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 music i like like a dancing cream you know that kind of thing so players i'm not really that big of a fan of it was also eight pound to get in uh -uh, i'm not paying that there was also no life to it when i went in like the dancing floor wasn't being used people were just sort of stood around i don't like players at all they also they seem a bit um misogynistic because of the outfits that the staff have to wear so yeah i wouldn't recommend really i think some people love it but i don't know i couldn't see why just the price puts me off for a start but even if it wasn't expensive it's just not my kind of vibe players is a minus 10 out of 10 100 
Babylon I've never been to because Babylon's like Wednesday night and so is Spoons so I'd rather go with Spoons. Uh, oh Wiff Waff, I forgot Wiff Waff. So Wiff Waff I've only ever been to once, it was like a traffic light night where you put on your head like if you're looking for love or something and I didn't find anybody looking for love which was a shame but um, actually Wiff Waff, none of my friends like it. I don't think really, they don't really like it, but I thought it was quite good. I don't see a problem with it, it wasn't really that overcrowded. And um, we also stole a load of cups from there, don't come at me, look, actually one of your staff members helped us do it, so we got a load of free cups and yeah, it's, I quite like it, but I've only been once. They have like ping pong tables, I don't know if you can actually play ping pong or if it's just for beer pong, but yeah, I don't see a problem with it. The toilets are a bit crowded but aside from that it doesn't really get it's not really that crowded i quite enjoy it so whiff whiff i like whiff whiff i would give an 8 out of 10 i think it was great but my friends just don't like it just to give you a rundown of like how the nights out work so sunday night is clute monday night is whiff whiff i feel like there's a tuesday night clute i'm not 100 percent sure wednesday night is spoons or babylon thursday night any night out i've been on on a thursday has been a bit ooh. Um, Friday night, uh, I think players are Friday, but I normally go to Clute. Saturday is locals night, so I wouldn't recommend. Um, and that's how the nights out work. And then Jimmy Allen's and Fabio's, you wouldn't really spend a whole night in, so you just fit them in with your night. So that is me rating the clubs in Durham. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Leave suggestions of stuff you want to see down below. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye.